Hey. Um. <laughs> so, I have been reading this other book called uh, something about mindsets by Carol Dweck. Like the, it's all about the fixed mindset versus the growth mindset. Um, I don't really want to get into it right now. Uh, actually, the first thing I want to say is that I've, because I've been listening to that book, and even if I hadn't, I just, I, I keep notes in my phone about all the different things that I'm learning, just like life lessons and things that I'm learning about myself and um, ways that I'm re-evaluating my past and past experiences. And, um, but I don't want to talk about any of that. I think that uh, I have before, and it might have just been in videos that I um, haven't shared with you. <laughs> but, um, I just feel kind of like sick of it, sick of trying to constantly improve myself. Like, I mean, I guess that's why people think self-improvement books are funny because it's, it's like, just do what you're doing. Just listen to yourself, do what you want. Like that's, that's all there really is to it. And you know, you can feel whether you want something in a good way or a bad way. Um, anyway, I'm not going to get into that. I'm just, um, uh, I'm glad that I get to introduce students to yoga and meditation. And uh, I'm glad that I'm around people who I admire, even if I'm not around them as much as I would like to be or as close to them as I would like to be. I feel like there are people in my midst who um, set really good examples, and I think that I set some good examples too. Um, but since I'm not really in the mood to talk about what I consider serious stuff like that, um, I want to show you that I've been... <laughs> so for my birthday, Baker gave me uh, devil sticks also called flower sticks. I don't know why they're called devil sticks. Um, but I had a friend when I was little, his name was Gabriel, and I'm pretty sure he had a, a set of these devil sticks, and that must be where, um, where I remember them from. But if you don't know what devil sticks are, I'm going to show you. And I've I'm not going to say I've mastered the basic, 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 it's called the the basic idol or something like that. It's basically, um, <sighs> I wish I wasn't saying that word so much. Um, you take these sticks and you, there's three of them, and two of them are the same like drumsticks, but they're super rubbery, like they're very, they don't slide, there's no, there's like a lot of friction, I guess, they're not rough, but they're like rubbery, and then there's this third one, which is the same material, but it has these fringes on the sides, and so the idea is that you can, um, toss them back and forth and do all sorts of cool tricks with them. And this is pretty much my best right now. Um, it gets kind of tricky, um, <laughs> but I wanted to show you that. Um, so that's one of the ways that I'm spending my free time right now, and it's, um, I really like it because I tend to not have a lot of patience for things, um, things like this, like things that I don't consider important, but I'm starting to see this as an important tool to help me develop discipline and persistence, and more than anything, I like it because I need to see progress. 
I need to feel like I'm doing better at something. And even though I'm constantly challenging myself and learning in my daily life, it's much easier and faster to see progress with a toy like this. I'm like, okay, two weeks ago I couldn't keep the stick off the floor for more than two seconds, and now it takes 20 seconds before it falls. <laughs> um, and I can like feel like I have a little bit more control over it, so it's a nice way to see progress. Um, and so I have been for the past year and a half, this is an update which I don't, maybe I did say this already last week, but I'm not teaching my dance class anymore. Um, I'm going to instead be taking some classes. Primarily what I'm really most excited about is belly dance. I want to dance like, um, Zoe Jakes from, <laughs> from Beats Antique. Um, God, best case scenario, like dream scenario. Um, and obviously, um, okay. So dream scenario is I would be like Zoe Jakes, a dancer on stage or in music videos for a band of music that I like. Um, so I was actually at the dance studio dancing yesterday by myself just for fun to a few songs, quite a few songs, and I decided that I'm going to take a little risk and offer myself up. Not so much taking a risk, but being vulnerable. I guess it's also a risk, but it's mostly being vulnerable by, and um, I guess this is a small way to take a risk, but um, I found a group on Facebook of, it's a group for local musicians, and so I'm going to post something like this. Hi! Um... Well, no, not hi. I probably won't say hi. I'm going to say something like, uh, do you think that a dancer would increase the value of your music video? If so, give me a call. Um, because I think that there's some musicians, I mean, I know that some local musicians make their own music videos and they want to have an internet presence and I feel like not, I mean... I feel like musicians probably get stuck when it comes time to make a music video. Like, do you just record the band playing a song for the full four minutes? Um, cause that's kind of, it can be boring, right? Um, or do you just play a video of running through nature for four minutes while your song plays or anyway, so I'm trying to find people who want someone to dance. <laughs> to their music, and uh, the idea is I would make money off of it, um, and best case scenario, um, the ball would keep rolling and I would, this would be a consistent, regular thing for me. Um, so that's a thing that I want, and what else? Thanksgiving is coming up. That's next week, and um, it's going to be a quiet Thanksgiving this year. I think it's just going to be me and Baker, and um, he's a really p picky eater, so I don't think we're going to do the whole big feast, especially since it's, it's just the two of us, um, but I definitely want cranberry sauce and pie, probably pumpkin pie. I'll probably make pumpkin pie, or sweet sweet potatoes with marshmallows <laughs> and um it'll it'll be kind of like a a fall night we still have some pumpkins that we got back in september <laughs> um that could be carved so we'll probably carve pumpkins and watch movies and make pie and paint or do some sort of art craft and, um, so I think that's what my Thanksgiving is going to look like. Um, it's safe to say this. I wouldn't say this in 
public. <laughs> but um, my two roommates are going to be out of town for a week. The week um, beginning right before Thanksgiving. And um, so ba Baker is basically going to stay here and be my roommate because I don't want to be alone for a week. Uh, I, I don't... I mean, I can be in a house alone overnight once, but not seven times in a row. I don't, yeah, I don't want to. Uh, um, <laughs> and I live in a safe area, but I just, I, I know it would take some getting used to. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a quiet week. I, I don't have work for like the few days of Thanksgiving so I'm probably going to do a lot of journaling, a lot of calling you, a lot of um, painting. I'm looking forward to painting because it's going to be super uncomfortable. It's going to really challenge my inner critic. It's going to um, uh, um, I want to train myself to hold judgment back, to, to, to sort of brush it away. You know, that part of me that's like, Melanie, you don't know what you're doing. What are you, do you have a plan? <laughs> like, you think those colors go together? That line isn't straight. You know, that kind of, that kind of thing. I'm, I'm going to play with that. Um, and, you know, maybe not make it, that makes it sound like a lot of work, because I expect it to be a lot of work, but really what I want it to be is enjoyable. I want to, I want to, um, like the other day, as a meditation in my yoga class, um, we practiced dharana, one-pointed concentration, focus, full attention on one thing, and we practiced that by coloring. I printed out these, um, coloring pages and um I had one for myself and it's a it's a mandala it's like a beautiful flower design not really a flower more like a a henna design henna flower whatever and I had a lot of fun with it because I practiced not caring about the plan and the symmetry and like if there was five different leaves, I made like this one pink and that one pink. Just for no reason. You know, not like not like every other petal was pink. Not like not like the this half of the petals were pink and this half of the petals were orange. No, just like this petal and that petal um are pink. And then I don't know what I'm not done with it, so I'm I don't know what I'm gonna do with the rest of them. And basically Avoiding symmetry, avoiding being like, well, it's going to be like this, and this is the rule, and um, I have to match and match and match and plan, and um, kind of just like, um, just going with it. It felt pretty rebellious, too. It was kind of like, no, I'm not doing symmetry. What do you think about that? <laughs> like, um, so that felt really good, and that's what I want painting to be like. Um, it's going to not only, um, be an exercise in hushing my critic, but it's also going to be, I mean, the other judgment that I expect to, to hear from myself is like, oh, but you're wasting, you're wasting time, you're wasting paint, you're wasting canvas, you're just making it worse, which is... Um, a common th um, theme when I like make a mistake and I, 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 I tend to think that I, I can't fix it like I can't make it what it was supposed to be but maybe I can make it something better maybe something different maybe something totally new and I will like it more than what I thought I was gonna do um, I'm just trying to um, practice the lessons that I already no. <laughs> putting them in, putting what I've learned in theory into practice um, in a creative way. Because um, I have a lot of art supplies that I barely use and haven't used in a long time. And um, 
you know, as part of, um, especially after just reading the life-changing magic of tidying, I am, um, it's important to me to use what I have, and if, because I've, if I'm not going to use it, if I'm not going to enjoy it, then I should get rid of it, maybe give it to someone who will, um, and it just feels gross to have a lot of stuff that you don't use, like, um, you know, when you have, like, empty bottles and you're like, oh, I'm going to use this for a project one day, and then you don't, and it just sits there and, and you feel guilty for not having done it yet. Well, that's a thing for me. I think that's a thing for more people than just me. Um, so, yeah, that'll be next week. Um... So you'll get to hear from me after having a lot of alone time <laughs> next week. Um, so please, call me, chat. I want to hear from you, too. Um, what else? Um, it's been cold. I think it's it's under 40 degrees right now. My phone says it's like 36 degrees, which is cold. But this year, I have the best jacket I've had ever. It's like a real, it's like a snow jacket. Like, it's it's long, and it's got like a million pockets on it, and like this really big furry hood, and it's it's, it's awesome. And it's green. I noticed that um, my, maybe it's just because it's fall and winter, but um, my color palette has been very neutral, a lot of like different shades of brown and green um, in my clothing recently. Um, I think that matters for a reason. I don't know how that connects to whatever I was talking about, but um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be in California uh, in the middle of December. <laughs> I'm going to be visiting my family, and Baker is coming with me. And so, Nadia, if you're watching this, I hope that you're in town at the same time. I hope you're not going anywhere um, in the middle of December before Christmas, because I want to see you, and I want you to meet Baker. Um, but anyway, I will not be here for the week before Christmas. I will be here during Christmas. Um... That's enough. I love you. Thanks for being your awesome self, and let's talk soon.